to, to the there we go still drinking prune juice real 100% blah 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 prune juice runs through your system makes you regulated it's like you should be putting stuff in your system that you are what you eat you are what you consume so between now we're in preparation stage then you should be eating healthy making sure that you uh you live and remember, remember when black panther came out oh, not not just die hard people but where's my black panther thing remember when there's a black panther uh, i don't have it here you know what i'm talking about black panther okay well it's someplace black panther you know the movie hey chad Bowles just announced he's going to be playing at the only black samurai Back there in the day, Japanese, he came as a slave with somebody, blah, 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 to my like them, da, 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 da. You know how it goes. You know, there's always, we're always slipping through. I mean, remember, well, I remember. There was a, there was a phase, remember they had that the yuppies, but he calls the, the buppies, you know, black people that, like, like, that could not say pass, but lay dark step, like me, but you know, shaving, nice, you know, slip, whatever, you know what I mean? The, the prototypical, you know, you know, a buppy would be like, uh, like, like Denzel back in, you know, carbon copy days, you know, the early days. Doesn't matter. I'm saying this, or to say that we have to prepare. But see, the thing, appearances is everything. But you know, you inside you can look like one thing, outside you could be something else. Let me give you an example. Mm. I did a play once called Oh Yeah at the uh, National Black Theater. It's very successful, you know, blah blah wars, all that stuff. But what, but my my way when I'm direct, I do I do things differently. So uh, because I come from the audio drama space, I, mean, I come from the theater space, but I, I develop audio drama. When I pre we, this is a national on top of that news, <laughs> National Black Theater up on 25th Street, well, 25th, 26th, blah blah blah. Anyway, so when it, when the cast, it, the thing is in theater usually say the show starts at eight o'clock, right? They usually give you a 10 minutes grace because they don't start the show until like 8, 10 because people are always going to be late. Well, I'm thinking that. And so what I did was because uh, I work the way I work, um, in audio drama, what I usually do is because, remember, usually you're not uh, or, or a peer. You know, you hear it over the radio or something like that, radio drama, you know, or, or over audio, right? So you you sort of have to introduce the voices first so people understand, you know, um, hey, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Denzel, I'm playing, you know, the lion, you know, that, that kind of thing. Okay, so what I usually do is I have the, 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 the cast, cast and crew line up, you know, even, even, even say, say for instance, the, um, the sound designer or the, um, or the, or the set designers happen to be hanging out. I said, no, no, you come for opening. You know, they stand in line, they, line, they come and they introduce themselves to the orders. Hello, I'm, uh, I'm Big John, I, I, I designed the set. And they go, they go off, you know. Uh, I'm the first, actually, the first person always says, hello, I'm, you know, Monique, whatever. I'm, I'm, the, I stage, I'm the stage manager. She goes up to the stage manager's place. So as the cast people come up, they're in costume, they're saying their regular voice, that, you know, um, uh, my name is Calvin, I'll be playing Oh sh no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm Calvin. I'll be playing Ogun, you know, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm Marlin. I'll be playing Shango, you know. So, so you know, come to that. Okay. Now, when you first came out, people looked a certain way. Like, like Ike's a very dark skin. She looked, looked like the the, the Dora Milaje, you know, the, 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 you know, the Grace looking, Grace Jones looking chicks, you know, tall, lanky, you know, very dark, very dark. She would come out. You know, yeah, yeah, she's a star, you know. The, the title character like that. Somebody like say Sean Gold comes out, he was like a model, you know, Tobias. Look really, really good buff, whatever. The guy that played uh uh Ogun, he was really buff, so people were woo ah woo like that. Uh uh remember uh, uh our uh, our legba, you know, again a dark skinned brother, actually he's African, you know, a dark skinned brother, and he he came out, you know, just blah, blah, blah. at the end of the play, so that's how people have that perception like that, right? At the end of the play when we had curtain call and I had the best, somebody said, this is the best curtain call I ever had. I come up with some really good ideas. I had the best curtain call in, in history, okay? I shouldn't say that, but you know, that's how people, they claim these kind of things, you know? Anyway, at curtain call, you can, you can see that people change their perception. I actually got the biggest blah, 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 blah. Uh, 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 the, the guy that played, again, the dark, the dark skin, the guy that played Allegba, because of his acting, blah, blah, Agamo, the creature, the, the, 
In other words, after you see the person doing, after you see the person's craft, you change your perception of what you saw the person as. Um, and it's called, I call it, paper here. Ooh. I'll use this like this. Now this is important um, because, you know, um, it's reported that, uh, actually I know this because I did my first normal radio was um, uh, dealing with um, uh, Marcus Garvey. Mm. So Marcus Garvey, he once said, wherever you go in the world, the darker people are always on the bottom. doesn't matter what country you're in, the darker people are always on the bottom. And it's called something. We don't use it a lot here. C A S T E. It's called a caste system. It's a caste system. Where's my dictionary? Should I go get my dictionary? I have too much problems with that. It's a caste system. And here this breaks down. You know, you have the class system, right? And usually because you're know, upper class, middle class, blah, blah, blah. And you have this whole thing, oh, this, 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 the middle class is shrinking, blah, blah, blah. They mean by econom economically, I guess, or some sort of thing like that. So when a person looks at, at a black person, they may look at me uh, one way, and they'll say, like, if I, if I shave and put on some, some nice glasses, you know, and blah, 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 uh, old man, uh, and a respectable suit, then they're going to treat me differently than if I let my hair grow out, you know, and, and, and a mumbling blip. I'm going to be different. It's a, it's a cast thing. I'll give you a better example. Not a better example. Give me an example. Here in uh, South Africa, or well, I'm in a place called Alice, and there's a famous uh, uh, chicken joint called Champs. There's only two in the world. One in Alice and one in Fort Beaufort. Owned by the, the same family. Anyway, so it's a major street. Everybody's there all the time. There was a guy He's uh, very dark skinned. You, you know how the people are, they, they're crusty, whatever have you. You know, you, you know they're, you, we call them bums. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Anyway, he's in the middle of the street. And he said one of the most profound things I ever heard in my life. He said, They want to see my ID. My ID. I am my ID. <laughs> and it was unbelievably magnificent. It was great. I'll just knock something down here, son. You think about it. Because you, you're. Okay, so, so you understand what I'm saying? You you are who you are. I'm pretty soon you're not gonna need no ID. He's gonna have fake red, all that stuff, the cameras and all that stuff. So what happens if somebody's dressing like a bum? Then you're gonna treat them like a bum. You know what I mean? If they dress like an executive, then you're treat them like an executive. They did a, a, a long time ago. I forgot when it was 60s, 70s, maybe the 70s. They the Esquire did a thing where they took bums from the bar, from the Bowery in New York, wherever they were from, and they showed you that they was, and then they dressed them up in suits and stuff like that, and the next page they had the same thing. Totally different person. So we're perceived by, if somebody looks like they don't have, instead of judging, instead of talking, whatever, we, we treat them like they look, and our perception of what they look is what's been depicted throughout the ages of what uh, whatever it looks like, you know? Even, even, uh, I don't want, I, I shouldn't pick on a Christian, even like Jesus, right? They say, oh, Jesus, uh, he only had one garment. Yeah, but that garment was made, made out of the finest, finest fabric, the finest thread there was. It was a one thread garment, you know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? So, so it may look like it, but, but everybody see the garment, you say, well, this guy must have something. It's, it's, when you travel, it, the first thing that people look at, is your shoes, you know what I mean? If you have really great shoes, they said, this guy got some money, you know? See, that kind of thing. So the perception first versus what is. So this is what I like about this whole virtual ADOS movement, because what happens, I mean, unless, I mean, I'm showing my face, yeah, 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 yeah. Because this started as something else, don't worry about da da da. But uh, when I interview, you never see me on camera, because I'm, the, the interview subject is the interview subject, right? But if you don't see me on camera, you just hear my voice, you have one perception. When you see me, then you have another perception. Then you have to be around me, have another perception. We just, with our virtual space, we don't know who looks like what. We're just hearing them, you know what I mean? And we're hearing their ideas. So when we finally meet at, at the conference, then we could put the face of it in. Then it might jive, it might not jive with what, what you've been thinking, but, but still the idea is out there first. That's the point. I'm trying to say, under a caste system, which is what we are under, our ideas are never heard because people are too, you, you, you look at this person black, yee, you know, or you look at the person, whatever you're looking at the person, so your ideas is never, never heard. Now, the last thing, I just have to say one more thing, but this perception is very, it's very important. I'm a, uh, my best friend, I'm going, in fact, when I'm going to the States now, I'll probably be spending some time with JB. 
he was a lawyer, you know. He, he, I met him at Princeton University when we did radio program, JB, you know, Saturdays over JB. And, you know, so he went to Princeton, then he went to Columbia Law, then he had this other thing in, in some uh, uh, big firm in Philadelphia. Then he went for, I think it was, he was hired by the Playboy Club. He's he one of the early, it was, at the time, he was only five casino entertainment lawyers in the country. He was one of them, five black ones. I'm talking, he was one of them. I think it was five. I forgot what the number is. I'll ask him when I get there. We'll talk about this. What was interesting, so his, now Jamie's about like, I'm 5'8", so Jamie's maybe 5'10", 5'11", I don't know what, what it is. And uh, so one time he's, I saw he's putting lifts in his shoes. I said, what do you do? Why are you putting, why are you putting the lifts in your shoes? He said, because in this world, you got to be at least six feet. <laughs> really interesting. Just think about it, you know? Anyway, so it's perception versus what is versus blah 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 so they they're going to continue to put us in a different cast so we can't we can't respond to people who won't respond to you properly because they don't know you you see so again we have to stay in our lane we're preparing we're preparing we're preparing for october for the uh convention and we should have a great convention we we you know you and me me being t from the Patterson's taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from ADES of the ADOS that would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.